It's the loudest, most politically incorrect TV show on the planet. Everybody, come on in. It's time for Tommy's Garage. With your host, Tommy Atkins, your mechanic, Rosie Rosencrantz, the Chocolate Thunder, Gavin Babineau, and Brittany Lee, with special guest, comedian Mike Rayo, comedian Sam Griesbaum, and Houston filmmaker Matthew Miller. I'm Matthew, the voice Gidry. It's time for Tommy's Garage! Yeah! Tommy's Garage! Yay! You guys are ready for a great show? Yay! We got one for you. I'm Tommy Yagas. Welcome to my garage. Are you guys ready for the big news? Yay! Yay! Let's, let's, let's start with the Supreme Court. Big decision this week. After watching the Ninth Circuit and the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals stand up for the rights of terrorists, the Supreme Court thought it would be a better idea to defend the American people. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! So they put the Trump travel ban back in place where it belongs, Rosie. Yeah, and nine to zero. Yeah. So it must mean that the Supreme Court is racist, right? right. Yeah. So we got, we got uh, eight racists and one Uncle Tom, right? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I, I, I like the nine to zero. They, they keep saying uh, it's, uh, it's a, uh, uh, only a partial invocation of the band, but come on, nine to nothing, even Ruth Buzzy Ginsburg couldn't follow <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I think it's funny that you've got, you know, the appropriate way to respond to a travel band you don't like is to enforce your own travel ban, so then you get Jerry Brown. You know, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> says, no more politicians or state employees traveling from California to Texas. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we did, Whatever. yeah. Whatever. And we didn't even have to beg them. That's the right. best part. Yeah. Like when it comes to protecting America against enemies, Democrats can always be counted upon to be the enemy. All right. Speaking of America's enemies, yeah. There's no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even you could even rig America's elections. There's no evidence that that has happened in the past, or that. There are instances in which that will happen this time. And so uh, I'd invite Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes. Wait a second. Yeah, we, we can invite the Democrats to do the same damn thing. And here's the thing. It turns out now they knew about the Russian hacking, and he did nothing, Rosie. Yeah, and he did nothing for eight years while he was in office. Uh, but but it, he and his husband, Michael, were exceptionally Ooh. good. They were... They were exceptionally good at vacation planning, though. Yeah. yeah. And spending, too. Now, wait a minute. You, you're saying that Obama chose not to acknowledge that his administration was inept and incompetent? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Related news, water is wet and fire is hot. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the sheer ego of these people. I, I know. Swear, the, whole, the whole interview happened in an elevator. I mean, uh, I, I think that uh, Keith could have, um, he, he could have farted in there. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that, like, that's what he was doing. Uh, look, so, and blamed on the Russians. Yeah, exactly. Look, so far, what do we know? We know Obama lied about the Russians. He right. spied on Americans. Right. The FBI and, just, and Justice Department are leaking. Oh, God. <laughs> the media is corrupt. Hillary oh. committed felonies. Barack Obama's gay. And Michelle Obama, probably a dude. It's all settled. Hey, Tommy. Tommy, in other words, the Democratic Party is on life support. Oh, my God. Oh, what the heck? Did somebody say CNN? Yeah. Not, not yet. Most of right now, like, we don't have any big, giant proof. The more you have constantly, like, Russia this, Russia that. Because this rating is... Oh, that was a long, that's an hour interview, and it's full of stuff like that. And the same day that, that this came out, CNN fired three reporters and took down fake news stories from their website. Project Veritas totally busted CNN, Rosie. Yeah. Yay! 
So if CNN fires everybody for doing fake news, the only ones that'll be left will be Wolfie and Cooper, and they'll be on airplane checkers with each other. <laughs> I'm waiting for James Earl Jones to come back in and redo the voiceovers. This is... <laughs> right there. Well, let's see if it works this time. <laughs> and that's what I was saying. This guy could have farted in that elevator and he would have blamed him on the Russians. This whole thing happened in they, an elevator. Yeah, the, the, it did. The Home Shopping Club has better ratings than the CNN. <laughs> no, the weird, thing is, the weird thing is the CNN ratings actually went up. But here's the thing. It's, you're, you're a news organization, right? right. The CNN found out that torturing dogs made ratings go up. You see those guys beating dogs every day. Damn right. And how do we know that? Because CNN has. Nancy Pelosi, they're on there. She's on there. No! Coincidence? I think not. Oof. Speaking of the devil, it must be time for... Bitch Watch! <laughs> yes, it's Bitch Watch, where Tommy's Garage keeps denying the worst women in the world. And Democrats lost over 100 seats in the House and Senate over the past uh, few election cycles, and then the, the past five special elections, they lost five more. Democrats are thinking it might be time to uh, get rid of Nancy Pelosi, maybe take her to the, that long walk to the vet, Rosie. No, no, no. No, no, no. Please do not get rid of Pelosi. She is the best conservative recruiting tool the, the Republicans have. If the Democrats had an IQ above a uh, room temperature, they would already got rid of her, right? Exactly. What I love, there's got to be like three guys following her, one of them all with headsets, one with a tranquilizer gun going, she's talking about Bush again, take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that she's self-aware. She knows she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, that's just awesome. She lives for it. Yes. Look, Nancy Pelosi starts her day by drinking a warm cup of stupid. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, a Starbucks employee mocked a woman who wore a Trump T-shirt. Did the Republicans riot? No. Did they start a fight? No. Did they smash the windows? No. No, 50 Trump supporters simply walked in, took up all the seats, and shut the place down. An old-fashioned <laughs> sit-in. Rosie, they took care of business. Yeah, yeah, give, give them a break, Tommy. Come on, come on, come on. A barista is the only job you can get with a Bachelor of Science in, a, a bachelor of science at any political university, correct? That's a good point. Barista, that's it. That's all that's you can get. That's what it's good for. That's it. I think, I think it's the first time that a Starbucks has ever been full of people that actually had jobs and weren't claiming to be writers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right there. Wow. You think it's bad the way they treated that guy on a Trump t-shirt? You should see how I treat people in Starbucks t-shirts delivering coffee to me in Starbucks. Yeah, and how, how's that degree working out for yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I think they're renaming it the That's $10 right. Bucks. Come on! Yeah. Tenderizer! Yeah! yeah. 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 You get the tenderizer. Yeah! yeah. My, here's, my, yes. here's my big question. Why is a Republican getting anything at Starbucks? Yeah. Right? right? Screw those commie bastards. But remember, if you do screw anyone who works at Starbucks, wear a condom because you have no idea where those brains have been. <laughs> And you may end up with an ugly baby for 18 years, and that'd be bad, right? <laughs> All right. By the way, Rush Limbaugh says watching Donald Trump play with the news media is like using a laser pointer to play with a cat. Uh, not uh, true. Uh, not true. Uh, not true. Uh, uh, Back up. Not true because cats eventually get tired of chasing the laser. Reporters never get tired of lying, proving they are stupider than cats. Speaking of never getting tired, let's say hello to Tommy's Grass announcer, Matthew Gidry. Matt, what's coming up next? Tommy, as soon as we stop playing with the we'll have the bigot lottery and the professionals. <laughs> but next up, it's Worldwide Panic. It's the Independence Day show, only on Tommy's Garage. Yeah. locked your deadbolt but this happened why because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins you need armor city doors there were over 1 million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone but when deadbolts fail armor city doors protects guaranteed 713-487-5539 or stop by armorcitydoors.com remember deadbolts do not stop kick-ins but when deadbolts fail you need armor city doors armor city 
Outdoors.com. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Man, I cannot wait to have my show. July 12th is going to be big. My friends are really excited, and I can't wait to talk to them about it. He's a real good guy. Um, doesn't have a real good sense of fashion, though. He's got this, like, really interesting pair of sneakers at the moment. They're felt purple, like velour, I want to say. It's like he missed being popular in high school, so he really wants these shoes to stand out. He does this a lot, which is fun. He's like, you hear about people who talk with their hand, now Koo, just one hand. There's like an imaginary light bulb that just needs to be screwed in at some point. I'm a good guy. Everybody loves Koo. Everybody, everybody loves African, right? He is the whitest black man I've ever met. He's from like, he says Africa, but I'm thinking more like Sugar Land. He said there'd be catering. That's what he got me here for, for this shoot. See what I got? A fruit cup. And I'm allergic to blueberries. What kind of a friend is this? I don't know if I'm going to do the show, man. I really don't know if I'm going to do the show. I can't even do this anymore. <laughs> that guy. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great night the Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night? It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Baytown to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. You do. Let's go! Come on! We are back! Yeah! yeah. yeah. It's time to panic! Yeah. Oh my Search the globe to find shining examples of humanity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's right, right. for you to say. Joining me and Rosie, say hello to the big cheese, Mike Rayo. And our joking token is Mr. Chalk and Thunder himself, Kevin Babo. Six scintillating stories for you. I got that all out. I didn't even stumble. That's bad. <laughs> Put your beer goggles back on. I'm telling you, I need those things. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there we go. I can see it better now. Yes. Let's start with my favorite. In America, the number of women in jails has increased how much? Over 50% since 2011. Yeah. That's, that's a lot, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, they're sending all these women to jail. Gee, I wonder who's fingering them. Hey. Oh. <laughs> A hammer. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love double entendres, don't you? Wishful thinking, but go ahead. I just can't wait for him to start smelling his finger on the set. Um, That's coming. Yeah, okay. So we have these poor children. They're victims. This evil legal system. But what are these bitches doing to get in jail in the first damn place? Exactly. And this, this article said nothing about what these idiots are doing. They just blame everybody but mommy. Yeah. Why? Uh, I'm sorry, I was thinking about women in prison videos. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, at least casting for the next season of Orange is the New Black will be pretty easy, won't yeah. it? <laughs> hey, that, that, what do you got? Ten, that, is tenderizer on that or hammer? Yeah, tenderizer. tenderizer. There we go. I was wondering which one I think about that for a second. Hey, I just want to point something out. Where do bad guys usually end up? In jail. Yeah. And where do <laughs> consider, consider exhibit A right there. And where do bad girls end up? In Rosie's lap. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Matthew, Matthew Miller, I got your next script. Yeah. yeah. One thing for sure, jails are full of psychopaths, so I have an important question. Who here likes to drink their coffee black? I do. Ooh. I do. Whoa! 
Well, it just so happens that psychopaths prefer black coffee. <laughs> Rosie, are you a psychopath? Yeah, and the people that order non-fat vanilla soy, extra cr extra foam, caramel drizzle are always going to be likely their next victims. Ah, oh, hey. that's a solid hammer right there. All I, all I know is I drink tea. I'm sorry, but but but. Yay! Yes. No, no. I want to know. <laughs> who, look. Yeah, it's Long cares? Island iced teas. Yeah. Well, yeah. Get to it. Hey, it. Yeah, okay, look. Who cares about what the coffee is as long as they rub the lotion on its skin? Oh, yes, exactly. Oh. That's, that's, the question. that's the question. Oh. That is a bell right there. Nice. Yeah, if you like black coffee, you're a psychopath. And if you like Chianti with fava beans, you're Hannibal Lecter. Oh! <laughs> the fava beans! <laughs> nice. Hey, Rosie, how do you like your coffee, dude? I like it uh, like I like my women with big <laughs> You're supposed to no, no, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, Rosie. Who did that? Who did no. that? I, right, I know you like to have a little cream in your try, coffee. Try though, editing that one out. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm sure if a caffeine overdose did this one, but in South Africa, a sheep had a baby, and it might be the ugliest baby in world history. The villagers think it's half sheep, half human, and all devil. You guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Oh! That's wow. the ugliest creature I've ever seen, Rosie. Yeah, in Africa, what happens in the barn stays in the barn. Well, <laughs> well maybe not. Uh. Yeah, but in all honesty, Tommy, when I saw that picture, I, I, I thought it was uh, Matt's... Uh, Love child? Uh, what? I thought it was Matt's twin sister. Oh! Okay, that was bad. It's Hillary! It's Hillary. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, man. I don't know what to do with that one. Hey, Really, Rosie? I had to go there. Come on, let's hit anyway, it. Anyway, look, in celeb <laughs> Matt, chill. <laughs> in celebrity news, Al Gore and Amy Schumer finally had their child. Yeah! Oh, and I was really, really happy for him. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I'm taking a look at that and thinking uh, right now every male Democrat member of Congress is working on his alibi. <laughs> <That's Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> And half of it wasn't me. <laughs> tenderizer. I never did that before. Two bells and a tenderizer, never before. But well, please, that's no sheep. That's Lena Dunham at the beach. Everybody knows that. Come on. All right, how about a pleasant story? Yeah. So, okay, let's look at some attractive women. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Woo! Oh, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, wow. Nice. Pretty good. Whistle. Yeah, one more. Let's do it. Keep, where you go? Ah, not bad, but who are they? Boy, in boy. the Czech Republic, no, thank God. In the Czech Republic, hey. feminists are going crazy. Why? Because a nuclear power plant is looking for interns, so they decided to have a bikini contest. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Best bikini body gets to be an intern at the power plant, Rosie. Yeah. yeah, I hope this isn't the way Homer Simpson got his job at the Springfield <laughs> nuclear plant. <laughs> Although it might be. Right. <laughs> well, look. <laughs> I think that the, the feminazis are just jealous because they look like 10 gallons of sh in a five gallon bucket. Oh! But true. Yeah. I, I like this hiring policy. I think the men at this plant, if they hire any of these women, those men are be gonna walk gonna be walking around every day with two hard hats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get that bell rung for sure. Hey, how you guys think we picked the Tommy's garage panel? Huh? Exactly. Yeah. 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 You think we rely, rely upon skills? <laughs> you just see you just see these guys in a, in a two-piece. And uh, Mike kicks ass in an evening gown too, by the way, just so you know. Uh, hey, by the way, uh, that's one big banana hammock over there. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I think I'm pretty I'm fairly sure this is the same way they pick interns of Fox News, by the way. Just yes. so you know. And I've been there, I can tell you. Somewhere over the ocean, an Air Asia plane had some technical issues. Let's take a look. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah that, that thing was technically falling apart for two hours. There's a problem with one of the motors, and, and the captain actually asked the passengers to say their prayers, Rosie. Yeah, free in-seat massages for everybody in Economy Fight Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, at least the pilot didn't yell Allah Akbar. Yeah. That's, it's, it's a step up, yeah. Look, I, I just want to apologize to everybody that was in the engine. The missus and I were uh, in the... Oh! oh! That's why it lasted for about two hours, yeah. <laughs> Mile high, huh? 
So I gave you a bell, a bell, bell ringing for a bell ringing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn right. Yeah. Actually, this story was first reported by CNN. So what the pilot was really asking is if people could pray for CNN's future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, I think I think the same thing happened to the Hillary Clinton campaign flames. <laughs> that thing went down flames on election night, big for for sure. Except I think they were praying to Beelzebub. Then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And finally, in Venice, Italy, did you know Venice has a female gondolier? Alexandra High. Wow. Well, she used to be a female gondolier until this week when she became a he. You may now refer to him as Alex, Rosie. It's too bad Milo uh, Torado isn't here for this story. Oh. So, so I, I think he got a longer pole, uh, and it works better now, doesn't it? Isn't oh. that how that works? Oh, are we sure about get that? Bell, are we sure? That's a oh. questionable one. Uh, is, is it me, or is 2017 becoming the year of trannies just beating everybody? So to speak. I, I Pretty mean, much. It's kind of, it's freaking me <laughs> out, Did I get a little bell for that one? They, yeah. They don't beat you. <laughs> Never. So to speak. <laughs> I, I, I got to be honest with you, I was really confused by this story, so I called my Uncle Giuseppe. Uh-oh. I, I know how much you like him, Tom. And he goes, Micah, this is what happened. There was a woman that she worked with, the only men. She's the only woman. Then she had a sex exchange and got a little <laughs> tiny pee-pee. So you no can call her a woman no more, or she hit you with her stick. I mean, the stick on the boat. The ah. oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, th this is what happens when you get your canals mixed up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh nice. Oh. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know what I mean, baby? Maybe you need a map. All right, let's all say hello to our Tommy's Garage announcer, Mr. Matthew Gizzy. Hey. Matt. Hey. I got a question. Hey. I got a question, Matthew. Would you go for a ride with a transgender gondolier? Hell yeah. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but I keep my hands off his paddle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh, I good advice, oh. Matthew. So what's coming up next, man? Later, we have the professionals, but next, it's everyone's favorite. The biggest lottery on Independence Day, only on Tommy's Garage! <laughs> Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by Earth. Patriots.com. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over 1 million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487. 5539 or stop by armorcitydoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick ins, but when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. Armorcitydoors.com. Hey, where can I get good local Pick news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great nightclub. Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house. Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist. Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet. I, I fart. Is that the same thing? I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man. We got to clean the pool. Why are you watching that? It's so funny. I was watching the Bigot Lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the Bigot Lottery. 
there. Yeah. Wow, that was wow. great. Whoa, I never heard that before. It's time for the Big Lottery, where Tommy's Garage travels far and wide to bring you stories of magnificently stupid people, and we force ourselves to guess the race of the idiot, and thus embarrassing everyone in the process. <laughs> Sandwiched between the Molly Mugs, our Rosie and Gavin, is our Tommy's Garage sweetheart, our very own Brittany Lee. Brittany Lee! See the scoreboard, Matthew. How's the race look so far, so to speak? So far, Rosie is at 18. I'm holding wow. fast. Beautiful. He's holding fast. I'm holding fast. You're always holding fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Brittany, Brittany's at nine and cre creeping up slowly on Rosie. Gavin. Gavin is at 13. I like it when he creeps up slowly. Right. Oh, That's because I'm black, isn't it? And yes. Always. Yes. <laughs> and one of them needs to get the all of these to catch up to Mr. Nice Guy over here. Yay! Okay. Yay! All right. So Matt. So 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 Matt. I, I think we have a, a clear leader right now, and we only have four weeks to go until the next trophy. Just so you all know. You better pick uh, up your game, bitches. All right. That's right. Hey. Okay. So is our panel ready to play the bigger lottery? Yeah. yeah. Is the audience ready to play the bigger lottery? Yeah. yeah. Let's all play the bigger lottery. This is a sex toy. Oh. I don't want to explain it to you. Use your imagination. This is an X-ray. I don't want to explain it to you. Use your imagination. <laughs> oh, no. Like the story says, what goes up must come down. But it wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Three hours of surgery later, the toy was reunited with its owner. Black, white, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie. It, was that a male or female? I can't. No, I'm black. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> OK, uh, up the butt. Uh, that's got to be a white guy or a white chick. We don't care about sex. We're just looking for color today. Okay, white. Saltine, Saltine American. I'm sorry. Brittany. Mm. Don't mm me. But I know a lot of The more you go, mm, white as well. The more you say mm, the more I think you like it. So come yeah. on. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, I was thinking maybe Asian, but I think I'm going to go with white. I mean, Asian people are kind of kinky. And, uh, you know, they, they're no used idea. to small things like that. Oh! Like, I mean, not all of them, but some. <laughs> Gavin. Man, you... you it's so racist really, of her, isn't it? <laughs> you really left this one wide open, didn't you? I mean... Uh, <laughs> uh, if only this person... Pun would, intended. Uh, ...had that yeah. fortune, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go different and say Hispanic. Okay, what do you guys think out here? Black. 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 Our silly slut with a constipated caboose is Emily Georgia. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. She's great, chubby. Great. Hold on, she's chubby. Yes. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking she's chubby. I want to ring that bell in your honor, Gavin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody else is going to The best that. line, the best line in this whole thing was from the receptionist at the hospital. She said it happens a lot more often than you think, and she's heard worse. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next up, somewhere in the world. Was walking his dogs. He took them to the, to the swamp. The sign said no trespassing. Big deal. Rules are made to be broken, right? right. Yeah, well, his dogs went into the swamp and they started playing with a new friend, Mr. Alligator. Oh. The man panicked, dove into the swamp, and wrestled with the alligator. He survived, but he lost a few pounds. Why? Because the alligator ripped off his arm and ate it. Oh. Wow. Australian, Indian dot, Brazilian. Or right here in good old Florida, Rosie. Oh. Good old Florida, somewhere in the gator world. Gator country, Boy, I love right. that. So uh, the gator had uh, like a, a snack, a snicky snack. Oh boy! So yeah. uh, let's go. Uh, let's go Brazilian. Okay, Rosie goes Brazilian. You would like to see that, huh? Yeah, I'd like to see that. You're damn right I would. <laughs> all right, all right. In honor of the only man to pull off a romper, I'm going Australian. Steve Irwin. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. You're, even, you're even naming the guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Crikey. Okay. Um, obviously, as much as I love dogs, no dog is worth losing my arm over. I'm sorry. I had to agree. I'm sorry. But this has to be... 
Florida. Ooh. Okay. What do you guys think out here? Florida. Florida. Wow. Florida. Anybody not think Florida? No. Nobody no. thinks Florida. Let's meet our dot headed dot. Moody Dondawadi! Yes, Mr. Dondawadi completely shatters the myth that Indians are somehow way. smarter than white people. Hell, he's stupider than the wait, Florida wait, guy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and that's stupid. Oh, somewhere in the world, somewhere in the world, a man needed a few dollars. So he did what anybody else would do. He went to the nearest freeway and threw himself in front of a car. Yeah. Oh. Big insurance payout, right? We'll see, because we have the video. Is our frantic fraudster Chinese, Indian, dot, Russian, or Nigerian? I'm gonna go with Gavin on this one. <laughs> Come on, Gavin. Okay. You knew so that was coming, Gavin. I know. So for all of the new people here and across the world, you don't have to explain it. That means he doesn't have a clue. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, it, okay, it, it can't be Nigerian because he would have called about his prince's riches and all that crap. So, okay, I'm gonna say Chinese. Chinese. Wow. Brittany. Ooh, I'm gonna go with uh, Russian because they're pretty hardcore. Yes, they are. That Especially if they wear tracksuits. And they have nothing to lose. Who <laughs> <laughs> really gets a dot? Would, would he put two Indian dots in a row? No. I don't know. I've done it before. But this sounds like something that uh, would happen in China. Okay, what do you guys think out here? China! China! They're barely capitalized. Let's see the video. Today. Where? <laughs> The Chinese are catching up to us. Right? Hey, we need to go and do our show in China. Yeah, that was fun. We should do that. Now, last but not least, we all know botches are pretty it. tough guys, right? Yeah. But sometimes they like to let their hair down and relax. Maybe have a beer, hang out with a girlfriend, maybe dress up a little, put on a wig, snort some coke, maybe some nice high heels, ladies' underwear, especially fishnet stockings, and take pictures. Wait, where are you going? Yes, a famous world champion boxer was dressing up in women's clothes with his girlfriend and taking pictures with her. His wife didn't like it very much. <laughs> oh! He claimed they were fake and spent millions of dollars trying to prove it, but after four years of legal battles, this world champion boxer finally came out of the closet and admitted the photographs were real. So from this list of world champions, this is a true story. Who was our prancing pugilist princess? Nice. I got that one. Sugar Ray Leonard, oh, Roberto wow. Duran, Oscar de la Hoya or George Foreman? Oh, yeah. Rosie. This, this sounded actually like a, fr a typical Friday night at Matt Gindry's house. <laughs> you gotta get your stuff from somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna say out of those, uh, who would be the most, uh, Oscar de la Hoya. Yeah. Oscar de la Hoya. Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of all of those? Yes, <laughs> Brittany. Hmm, I don't know. I, I would, I'm gonna go with, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. Is well, sugar sounds sounds kind of two sweet. families, five kids, but that means nothing, <laughs> right? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Sugar. Got it. Yeah. Sugar Pants Leonard. Oh. oh. I mean, it, <laughs> it can't be George Foreman. The grills are no. just too cool no. to be that girl. They never made a girl version of those grills. They never so, wanted to try so I'm gonna say Oscar De La Hoya. I, I always thought he was kind of humble. Yeah, he's kind of lighting the loafers, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think out here? I got Oscar. 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 Our, our fighting fish that freak is Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. <laughs> now let's meet let's meet the hot stripper who shared this lovely moment. Take a look. Wow. wow. Yeah. I dress up in fishnets for that too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is now a yoga instructor. So who had it out here? Right here. Yeah, All right. Yeah, who had it out here? Almost everybody. I think, right? yeah. All right, Matthew. We're wrapping it up. Let's see the scores, buddy. Well, well, now <laughs> Rosie's at twenty. Ooh. Rosie's killing them. Yeah. Brittany's holding fast at nine. Gavin yes. is 14. So you got a couple right? of them. Two. Yeah, I got a couple You're of them. You're going to have to go re-go through all of this because he's drunk. Let's spend another hour. Let's spend another hour. 
There you go. Okay. All right. Ten. Ten. Excuse me. That's good. <laughs> you got one job in the world as a cat, and you can't do that right. I have two. I was <laughs> laughing at your hilarity. Ah! <laughs> good comeback. Yeah. What do you got and get? Got two. What do you got and get? Two. All right. Appreciate <laughs> yes. I don't think got How'd you guys do out here? Did anybody get them all? No. no anybody got four? Yeah. Three? No. Yeah. Two? Wait, my right. not bad. All right. You got four? That means you're batting cool. 500. We'll take that, all right. So that takes care of the big lottery. Matthew, take us home, buddy. Uh, what? All right. Excuse me while I whip this out. Kiss the sky. <laughs> That's my line. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still stuck on Oscar de la Hoya wearing hey, fishnets. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but Matt, would you wear fishnets in a wig if you got to have a night with that girlfriend of his? I know it. I mean, uh, hell no. <laughs> I wouldn't refuse that, but I'd definitely say no to that butt plug thing. Oh. <laughs> Stay tuned for the professionals. It's Independence Day, only on Tommy's Garage. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system, broken. The FDA, broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great night the Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? The Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bondsman. Wild night? It's a for friend. a friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. King to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? It's time for the professionals. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing up here? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is the professionals where Tommy's Garage drags in three professional entertainers and we crush their dreams in six minutes. <laughs> kind, kind, of like, kind of like sex when you think about it. Right. Joining, joining us is a comedian Mike Rayo. Yeah. 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 Comedian Sam Griesbaum. <laughs> Speaking of sex, in the old days, advertisers used sex to sell all sorts of items. No longer. 
Recent studies yeah. have shown that sex doesn't sell advertising anymore, Mike. It doesn't work anymore. They say it doesn't work. Wait a minute. Well, then, oh! yeah, then Ooh. somebody's going to have to explain to me why I bought my wife a new car. That's all. Yeah. I <laughs> That took a second, but, <laughs> but it was good. All I can say is it's always worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> they had to do a study on this? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to do a study on it because I think that since she lost the DNC, the presidency, Debbie, Debbie Wasserman Schultz has been down on a street corner in D.C. proving this all day long. Yeah. How much does she have to pay the guy? <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy, you looking for a debate? There's not enough debate? money at all in Washington. No. Sex, wait, sex doesn't sell anymore? Look, that's why nobody watches porno on the internet, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, there is some good news on the sex front. Turns out the sex can help prevent heart attacks. And when you get older, it helps keep your mind sharp. Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I, I wasn't paying attention. I have some chest pains. Yeah, don't believe everything you read. I can see this working, because let's face it, when you're both in your 70s, you really got to use your imagination to try to figure out who you wish you were sleeping. Oh. Wow. Nice. I just B. Say, Arthur. This, this, is, oh. this is just irrefutable proof that my wife is trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hammer. And his wife finds out, it's a tenderizer. Yeah. It's going to happen. <laughs> so sex is good for your brain? Uh, I don't know. Try balancing your checkbook after you get your bell rung for a couple of hours. We'll see if, you, if your sex is bad, good or bad for your brain. Speaking of ringing that bell, last week was a worldwide gay parade celebration. Parades everywhere. Let's see some pictures. New York, right? There's San Francisco. Nice. Taiwan. Portland. There's Matt. Brazil. <laughs> London. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Uh, Scotland. All right, look up. Mike. My, 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 Mike. Who doesn't love a parade? <laughs> I mean, the best part about a gay pride parade is uh, they're their own float. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> My favorite part, they want respect. And, and you know, I'm watching it thinking, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't take you seriously before, but now that you're wearing the fairy wings, the sparkle glitter, and the assless pants, yeah, yeah now you're, you're someone I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're relevant. Have you ever seen the aftermath of any of these things? Yeah. yeah. Funny they're, dude, they're trash. No, seriously. And I thought gay people were neat. Have you ever been to Gidry or Rosencrantz's house? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> you know, it's funny you bring that up because we have a shot of Houston too. Take a look. Aww. Wow. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What the hell, Houston gay people? I thought this was about pride. What's all that mess about? And those, and those ugly outfits. Look, at Tommy's Garage, we don't care who you cuddle up with, right? We're libertarians, right? Really. But I have some advice. If you stay clean and maybe dress a little nicer, you can become anything in America. Look at this guy, guy gay guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, in Los Angeles, they want to name a street Barack Obama Boulevard, Mike. Yeah, it's in, uh, it's in Los Angeles. It's in Crenshaw. <laughs> Everybody knows where Crenshaw is. Yeah. Even the streets in Los Angeles are segregated. <laughs> oh. You know what I'd like to see? Let's put Pat Boone Boulevard in Crenshaw yeah. and uh, put Obama Boulevard, I don't know, in Nashville. Now, that would be interesting. No, I'd like to see that. Yeah, no. Obama yeah. Boulevard in L.A. makes sense to me because he didn't build that and it doesn't go anywhere. Oh! <laughs> that was a hammer! Wow! Annabelle! <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was going to say, the guy wants a street named after him. Dude, there's two in this neighborhood that say dead end. Oh! I mean, oh! <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, you know, in Los Angeles, I got a little bit of advice. If you, if, is, name a street after a good black president. That's what you want to do. Not after, oh, come on. Bill Clinton, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the first black <laughs> yeah. president. It's kind of like, that's the same philosophy why we don't have any uh, George W. Bush posters in Tommy's garage, right? Right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While we're in Los Angeles, Bill Maher came out with an interesting idea. He wants to have a holiday for those who don't want resource-sucking, waste-making human beings, Mike. What? Yeah, there is He's a holiday for that. Uh, it's, it's about people who don't want to reproduce, and uh, we have that holiday at our house. It's called Thanksgiving. 
And uh, every Thanksgiving, we thank Bill Maher for not reproducing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I keep hearing this from a lot of the echo Nazis. There's too many people, man. We've got to get rid of some of the people. And I just have to say, you first. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. You. That's the standard answer. A good one. <laughs> let, me, let me get this straight. He wants to get rid of resource-sucking, waste-making human beings. Yes. So once again, he's attacking his own demographic. Yeah. Right. Yep. <laughs> What's that called? Democrats. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I'm, we're pleased to announce Bill Maher is now conservative, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and last, in every state where they legalize marijuana, car accidents are up. No way. Yeah, 15% in Colorado, Mike. Yes, way, dude. Yeah, that's predictable. What they didn't report is the increase in 911 calls that start with, dude, you're not going to believe what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the number of car accidents are up, but the fatalities are down because you're only doing like five miles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Who, like, exactly. Who cares? This is not affecting the insurance rate. I promise most of these accidents, they don't even breach the deductible. I'm sure Mako's doing great. It's like, hey, dude, why don't you buff that scratch out? Yeah, but yeah. 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 the airbag still has to Exactly. <laughs> 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 Look, every, every car accident boils down to one thing, driving while stupid. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows that. Uh, yeah. Hey, guess what they invented, by the way? Guess what yeah. they invented? What? A car horn that sounds exactly like a duck. <laughs> duck? If you want to move people out of the way, you get a car horn that sounds like a fart. And we got one. Is this you driving around? <laughs> Tommy's Garage Announcer extraordinaire, take us to the break, Matthew. Sure, Tommy. Let's clear the air for that last segment. <laughs> we'll tell you what's great about America. It's the Independence Day show. Happy birthday, America. Only on Tommy's Garage. Pull my finger, pull my finger. Come on, dude, you're supposed to be helping me clean the pool. You're gonna get me in trouble again. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. Yeah, this is the big lottery. Every week we scour the world to find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things, and we force ourselves to get... I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. They're shopping at Walmart, riding horses, and doing silly that. Is that crazy or what? That's crazy. Why were you watching that? It's so funny. I was watching the Bigot Lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the Bigot Lottery. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Healthcare system? Broken. The FDA? Broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. 
Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great night the Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon? Bayou City Bull. Nail salon? Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bond. Wild night? It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. King to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bull. BayouCityBull.com. And Twitter. We are back! Yeah! yeah! It's the Tommy's Garage Independence Day Party. Tell me something great about America, Rosie. Well, we have a uh, Gitmo sitting there empty right now because uh, Obama let, uh, let everybody out, all the terrorists out. So let's repopulate Gitmo with Obama, Schumer, Hillary, Lynch, Rice, Comey, Holder, and Johnny Depp. Yeah! Yeah! All right, um, I'd fix America with uh, Bill Maher's idea. I believe that he was kind of hinting at eugenics, and we could start with Antifa and uh, BLM and several yeah. others. Yeah! The KKK could jump in. I like that. I'm going to get serious for a second. My father was an immigrant to this country. Three of my four grandparents were immigrants to this country. Legal immigration is what made this country great, and we need to get back to that. Yes! Uh, yeah. 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 There you go! All of mine, too. Look, I think the greatest thing about America my is our freedom. freedom. The freedom to do whatever the hell we want, unless censors get to us first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what makes America great? Yeah! yeah. The greatest things about America. That's what I'm saying. That wraps up Tommy's Garage this week. You guys all have a good time. Yeah. Let's thank our panel. The big yeah. man, Mike Graham. Yeah. Yeah. Brittany yeah. Lee. Yeah. 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 That's it. Gavin Babineau. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Super Sam Greenbaum. Yeah. <laughs> Your announcer is Matthew, the voice, Gidry. Well, once in a while, and you guys are the best audience in America. Let me yeah. hear it. Yeah. I'm Tommy Atkins. This was the Tommy's Garage Independence Day Show 2017. It's time to close the garage, but we'll be back next week. You like that shirt? Yeah. yeah. We'll be back next week with another great show. So yeah. remember, pull up a chair, pop one up beer. It's time, it's time for Tommy's Garage. <laughs> Live from the Detectives. She's looking at me. <laughs> you too, I see you. Yeah. You already know, though. <laughs> Once you've had fat, darling, you never go back. <laughs> Not with that crushed pelvis, she won't. No, no, no. Check us out. They check us guys out, don't they, guys? Big hands. I can palm a basketball in either hand. Big nose, big feet, size 13. Big disappointment. That's all. I am what every woman wants. 
That's right, a middle-aged 400-pound fat man. <laughs> they don't dream about me. They have nightmares about me. Let's be... <laughs> ah, so I was late getting here. I was supposed to go on earlier, but I, uh, I got pulled over by the cops. Happens to me, too. Sorry. <laughs> It's nine o'clock, we can get, you know, it's time to get serious here. Well, let me tell you what happened. I was wearing a white shirt, cop thought my airbag went off. That's wrong, right? It's wrong. Yeah. Fat lives matter, fat lives. Who's with me, who's with me, yeah. Where are my big people at? By applause, where are my fat people at? That's good, we got an honest crowd here tonight. I love that. I love that. Well, here's what I don't understand, though. I, I have a philosophy, just be fat and be happy. Am I right? Yeah. But we can't do that. We join groups like Overeaters Anonymous. Hey, how do you keep this anonymous? How do you do that? Huh? I mean, you, you're fit. Look at you. You go to the gym all the time. You can wear jewelry that goes below your belly button and still see it, right? <laughs> if I told you, you look like an ass, if I told you, you know, I had an eating disorder, you wouldn't tell anybody, would you? <laughs> but they're still going to find out. <laughs> Where are my alcoholics at? <laughs> uh, See, but I hate you guys. I hate you guys, you guys, because you can lie about your addiction. <laughs> That's true. That's so wrong. It's so true. You got a joke for me over there? You guys had a little bit too much to drink? Hey, by the way, uh, give it up for your uh, waiters and waitresses. They've been working hard for you. Yeah. Uh, especially Renee. Where's Renee? Renee in here? Who's, who's got Renee? Uh, tip her real good, because Renee just had a baby uh, taken away by the county. <laughs> and she needs that tip money. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's never getting that kid back. <laughs> So you guys like it sitting in the front, don't you? You do, don't you? You do, I can tell. I have a bladder infection, so I'm gonna stand back here. Man, I cannot wait to have my show. July 12th, it's gonna be big. My friends are really excited, and I can't wait to talk to them about it. He's a real good guy. Um, doesn't have a real good sense of fashion, though. He's got this, like, really interesting pair of sneakers at the moment. They're felt purple, like velour, I want to say. It's like he missed being popular in high school, so he really wants these shoes to stand out. He does this a lot, which is fun. He's like, you hear about people who talk with their hand, now cool, just one hand. There's like an imaginary light bulb that just needs to be screwed in at some point. I'm a good guy. Everybody loves cool. Everybody, everybody loves African, right? He is the whitest black man I've ever met. He's from like, he says Africa, but I'm thinking more like Sugar Land. He said there'd be catering. That's what he got me here for, for this shoot. See what I got? A fruit cup. And I'm allergic to blueberries. What kind of a friend is this? I don't know if I'm gonna do the show, man. I really don't know if I'm gonna do the show. I can't even do this anymore. F that guy. <laughs> <laughs> 